Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to your news update on CMC Markets. The Japanese Prime Minister Abe wants a summit together with Trump as soon as possible. Trump, the Trump election campaign rhetoric, as we all know now, wasn't rhetoric only. It's actions, it's business deals and deals first, values-based politics second. Xi Jinping will be the first Chinese premier to speak in Davos. He will be speaking today. Now that we have a more inward-looking um, Trump administration, we've got the disruptive uh, Brexit, EU exit. Um, now China could try to profit from that by defending structures of free trade and globalization. Question is, how far will Xi go to fill the gap of Trump on the world stage? Will China take advantage? That will be the big question here from Davos today. Another big speech will be from Theresa May today um, uh, regarding the Brexit negotiation terms. How hard will the hard Brexit be? That will be the big question number two out of speeches that are coming today. Xi wants to have, uh, the Ch uh, Chinese Premier wants to have international cooperation and openness. Trump wants or sees the EU as a tool of German domination and sees the NATO as obsolete. He wants to build walls. So there are two different concepts of political and economic order existing. That, that is a new, um, new way of seeing things after the existing order after World War II is suspended somehow. Lots of uncertainty. So we've got for the markets coming for 2017, but the volatility is still very low, which is astonishing. Markets ignore that uncertainty. Question is, how long will they really do? Now, we all know that um, Hillary Clinton will not be sworn into oath on Friday. She will not call uh, David Cameron on closer ties with Europe. It's different. That was 2016 was all wrong. They expected that there would be such a call and that there would be Hillary Clinton in the White House and such and, and so on. They were all wrong. Um, at least that was the, was the forecast that Reuters and other news agencies had from a consensus view out of Davos. They were really uh, wrong with that assumption. If you look at BMW, um, uh, Trump wanted to um, instigate a 35% um, penalty tax for importing cars from the Mexican plant that BMW plans to build. And uh, for every car that is being imported into the United States, there would be a 35% tax. But for every tax, he needs to um, involve Congress and Republicans. Uh, the Republican Party has been more um, for free trade in the past, so that is unlikely that there will be some special tax. He can, at least um, without um, involving Congress, set tariffs, but that must be aligned with trade deals, and there is a trade deal with Mexico still intact. If he has some special tariffs, he would like, um, yeah, not not really be in line with that trade deal. So that would bring the World Trade Organization um, to look into what he does there. So for now, this is a lot of um, beating the Trump, what what my, um, Donald Trump does, but the details and how he really wants to execute on those threats he is uh, proposing will need to be seen.